What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch for mobility. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so glad you're here with me to stretch it out, get your body feeling good. Before we get started, make sure you have plenty of space around your mat to move. You don't have to have a mat necessarily, but make sure you have some room around you to move. Okay, also make sure you check out the Sydney Squad membership and the May calendar if you're just jumping into these workouts with me. I'm so glad you're here and I provide you guys a calendar so you can know every workout, the duration, and the type of workout that's coming for the month of May. And then that Sydney Squad membership is my way to hold you accountable to provide you extra additional information outside of these workouts for your lifestyle like nutrition, massive nutrition program with recipes, grocery lists, snack ideas, and so much accountability, positive uplift lifting encouragement there. I'd love for you to join us. So check both of those things out in the description below. And if you are ready, we will get started, okay? All right, so let's come into a big wide stance on your mat. It's mobility today, so we're gonna be moving through motions, okay? Making sure your body can move well, all right? So I want you to place your hands on your hips, and the first thing we're gonna do is hinge them backwards. Reach the weight into your heels. In three, two, one, shift your hips back into your heels, and then come back forward. All right, I really want you to put that weight back so that you feel the stretch in your hamstrings, okay, in the back of your legs, from the side, going back and forth. It's okay to kind of arch your lower back a little bit. You can really feel it the more you shift back. And I want to challenge you to keep breathing through this stretch, through this mobility flow that we're gonna do today. All right, one more, reach, reach way back, good. Three, two, one. Now kick your right leg back just a little bit. I want you to reach your hands forward, same thing. Let's go forwards and backwards with your hip. Okay, so you'll feel a little bit deeper stretch in your hamstrings and then even down into your calves, the more you reach those hips back. I'm gonna challenge you to keep both heels down. And let's keep rocking. Good, let's go two more. One more. And good, go ahead and switch feet and then continue that same movement pattern. Reach the hips back and forth. Keep your legs mostly straight. Just a slight bend in the knee if you need to. And two more, you're doing great. Last one, reach and bring your stance back up nice and tall. Let's go back to that wide stance, opening your toes out. Okay, let's reach down to the left side first, opening your right hand up into the air. You're gonna roll forward, walk it over, and switch, okay? So the same side arm goes down to your foot, open up the opposite, and walk it over, same thing. Great job, just keep it moving here. Really try to fold that chest up. Let's go one more on each side. And come back to the middle when you're done. And I want you to grab onto your elbows, reaching side to side. So elbow to shin, rotate over and over. Great job. Just kind of let your back relax a little bit. Got both of your toes pointed forward here. Hopefully we get some lengthening in the spine on this one. Let's go four, three, two, one, and take your hands over right inside of your left foot. I want you to bend down on that left side. 
okay? Straightening your right foot and then rolling that heel down so your toe is facing the ceiling. What I wanna feel the stretch here is in this inner thigh. Good, place your hands down and let's rock it right over to the other side. So open it up, toe points up to the ceiling. You're feeling that stretch right in your inner thigh. Give you about 20 seconds per side here. Breathing, right? Good. Two, one. Put your hands down, press it up and over again. I really try to sink lower a second time through. You know what the stretch is. Let's see if you can get a little bit lower. Great job. Press into the floor again. Let's go over. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Turn that heel up, your toe up to the ceiling. And press it down into the mat, hips up in the air. Let's walk over to the left leg and actually turn your hips to face that front toe. Okay, so we're sideways now. All right, what I want you to do is bend your back knee Place it down on the floor. Keep that front leg straight. Okay, and let's rock back and forth, straightening the back leg, bending the front leg, and then pushing back again. So we're moving into hips and hamstrings here. Work the hamstrings a lot already, but now we're kind of adding in that hip stretch. Shift it back and forth. We'll stay here for about 30 seconds, back and forth. So kind of get into each position, feel it stretch for just a second, and then roll it back to the other side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Mobility is the ability to move through ranges of motion, and I want you to get a little deeper in each range of motion today. So drop your hip a little bit more. Push your hips back a little bit more. And go ahead and set back on that back knee and switch legs, okay? So you've got your front leg out straight again, toe pointed up. All right, it helps me to have both my hands inside of my foot. All right, let's go ahead and shift forward. Push. And then sit back. And each side will be different in terms of flexibility and mobility, so if you're a little tighter on one side, that's okay. Just try and push a little bit deeper. Good job. Back and forth. Good, this one kind of keeps your attention, right? You're moving through this stretch. Big deep breath in. Push it back when you get back to that knee back and straight leg forward. I want you to push into the floor and bring both of your knees back, okay? So now we're in tabletop position and we're gonna work on moving those hips and your lower back and your spine in general, okay? So I want you to drop your stomach down, okay? Exhale and pull it up. <sighs> Big inhale, drop it down and pull it up. We're moving kind of through a cat-cow flow here. Good, challenge yourself to get nice and low, and then pull the chin in, pull up nice and high. You're doing great. Good, one more big deep breath in, drop your spine down. Exhale, pull it up. Good, now I want you to shift your knees out just a little bit wider and we're gonna make big circles with your tailbone. So shifting back, side, front, side. Okay, right now I'm going clockwise. Go whichever direction you're going right now, we're gonna switch in about 20 seconds. Okay, make sure in each position you shift way out to the side, to the back, to the side. Good. 
one more circle, and then when you get to a stopping point, switch directions. Good, gotta be able to move these hips well. Got a lot of workouts this week that are gonna require some good mobility, as always. So I want you moving well, I want you to have no injuries. If you're moving well, that's a really good indicator for injury prevention. Good, last one, come back to the middle. All right, and walk your hands out just a tiny bit more. I want you to drop your hips down and then push them back into child's pose, okay? Same thing again, lower back and hips. Pull down forward. And shoot it back, hips over your calves and just keep rocking with me. Here we go, come back forward. And then I want you to sit back into that child's pose position. Stay here for me. And I want you to walk your fingertips out as far as you can so you feel that stretch in your upper back and your shoulder blades. Okay, not a lot of mobility here. Just stay and pull out as far as you can with those fingers like you're trying to get them to the edge of the wall in front of you. Take your right arm and release it. I want you to tuck it underneath of your body and rotate your chest towards that hand that you just snuck under your body. Use this top hand to push into the mat so you're rotating your upper back. Keep breathing for me. Here you go. All right, bring that right hand back out front. Take your left arm, same exact thing. Shoot it under your body. Use that right arm to push into the mat. So you're really getting a good mid-back rotation, mid to upper back. Feel that stretch in your shoulder blade as well. Come on back to the center. I want you to place your hands down again. Tuck your toes and let's push up into a down dog position. Moving right into a little bit of shoulder mobility here. I'm gonna have you tuck your head behind your arms like you're reaching your nose for your toes. And then I want you to reach back over top. So you're not coming all the way flat, but your nose goes right over your fingers. Okay, so reach it back and forward. Just getting the shoulders rotated here a little bit. Good work, guys. Keep breathing, exhale every time you push your nose back to your toes. Good, let's go two more. One. And two, and I want you to drop your left knee down to the floor. And let's rotate open so that your hips are facing forward. Okay, left knee on the floor, left hand down on the floor. And I want you to reach over and back. Again, going for some shoulder mobility. Over, feel that opening all along the sides of your body, your ribs, your shoulder, and come back over. And you can even watch your hand reach way over. There you go. And one more. Good. Let's come back into the center and switch legs. Same exact thing. Left leg is out to the side now. Right knee is under you. Right hand is down. Just take that left hand and go over and back each time reaching a little bit further. Good. 
Good. Feel that opening. Let your ribs open up. Let your shoulder open up. Good work. Two, one, and bring it back down. Hands on the floor, and I want you to go ahead and have a seat on the back of your calves if you can. I know this is kind of uncomfortable for some people, but if you need to, you can come here, put a little weight in your hands. But if you can, I want you to just lean back here. Okay, one, just a really good stretch here in that lower quad. So if you can, just lean back. And again, maybe this is enough for you. The stretch feels good right here. That's fine as well. Just want you to feel the stretch in your quads. So lean back. Try to keep your legs close together. And then come back forward, reach forward. And swing your hands back, back, back. Walk them back behind you. Lean back with them. Force your knees down to the floor. Inhale, exhale, walk back forward. And come back one more time. Reach it back, back, back. And good. Let's step your left foot forward. Okay, so you're in this tabletop position again. If you can, with your right foot down, grab onto that um, foot. This is your foot. Grab onto your foot with your right hand. Just kind of pull, okay? Pull it, that heel up to your glute as close as you can. Good. Go ahead and release it. Let's shift forward for just a second. Just give it a little rest. You can if you're an advanced mobility kind of person you can bend it up here and actually grab across your body that's an option okay if you can't let's come back up to the top bend and pull right here okay so same side arm isn't as tough if you want to switch it go opposite side arm and lean forward Good, release your foot without letting it slam slowly. And let's switch legs, same thing. Okay, start up here, right foot in front, just bending, pull here. Pull that heel to your glute. If you wanna step it up, lean forward in that stretch more, grab it with your opposite hand behind your glute. Okay, wherever you're at, just go there, pull that heel towards your glute. In this advanced position, you will feel it a little bit more up close to your hip, like the upper part of your quad, the more medial part. Slowly let that leg lower, don't let it slam. Tuck your knees back under you, push your toes up, and walk back into your feet. Before we stand up, I want you to widen your feet out and just grab onto your elbows. Let your neck hang and relax. I think this is one of the best feelings. Just release your shoulders, grab onto your elbows, and let your neck hang and feel your spine just relaxing. If you need to bend your knees just a little, that's okay. All right, go ahead and give me a slight bend in your knee and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, come back in here to the middle with me. Let's work on our upper body just a little bit more. All right, so hands up overhead. I want you to pull left arm to the right side. 
and switch. We'll hold each one for about five seconds here, three times each. And switch. And switch again. Good, come back into the middle. Let's cross your left arm over your body. Pull it back. Make sure it stays thumbs up. Okay, keep your hand facing up. Keep your chest and your hips forward, so don't let them shift this way. Keep everything straight. There you go. And okay, let's switch it over. Anyone else's shoulders a little bit sore from this week? This is a good one. And switch again. Good job, good job. While you're here, rock your weight back and forth in your heels or up onto your toes. So stretch out the arches of your foot. And cross it over one more time. There we go. Got three, two, one, and rest. Give me a big deep breath in. Exhale, and you have made it through your 20 minute mobility stretch. I hope you feel a lot better right now. I hope you feel like your joints are ready to move. And I want you this week, I wanna challenge you to incorporate this stretch at least three times after your workout or before your workout. Since it's a dynamic moving stretch, you can also use this as a warm up, a little additional movement for your body, a little more lubrication in the joints as we never really stood in a position and held for too long, we were moving, okay? And that's what you're gonna do in your workout. That's why I prefer this style of workout. And research says it's better prefer for performance if you do a moving kind of warm up. all right? So incorporate this pre or post workout three times this week, that's your challenge. And I want you to comment below if you accept the challenge as well. I want you to share this video on your Facebook, on your Instagram, tag me in it so I can let others know that you're sharing the workouts. I promise you, whoever takes advantage of it is going to feel a little bit better moving forward throughout the week, okay? Also, before you head out, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel, please. I cannot wait to keep growing with you guys. I'm so thankful and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.